we have got the Cleveland Browns final roster for now. I fully expect Andrew Barry to make more moves. So while we have the initial 53-man roster, just keep in the back of your head, they are probably going to either make a trade or look to the waiver wire to beef up some of these rooms here. So we're going to run through the entire initial 53-man roster, but I wanted to start things off by looking at some notable cuts that have been made by Andrew Barry. Josh Rosen, Johnny Stanton, Javon Wims, Mike Harley. Let's look at those two wide receivers for a quick second because we'll take a glance at the wide, rec rec wide receiver room later on. I'm a little surprised that both guys were cut. Nakia Griffin-Stewart, Miller Forrestal, Zaire mitchell Payton. Three tight ends out of a five tight end room. I fully expect Andrew Barry to have more than just two tight ends on this roster before week one. Blake Hance, Brock Hoffman, Herb Miller. Now, some of these guys are going to be prime candidates to get onto the Browns practice squad, and we'll toss some names throughout your way throughout today's video. But let's start at the quarterback room. Deshaun Watson does not N-O-T count against the Browns 53-man roster. He's on the suspended list, but we'll put him on screen anyway. Jacoby Brissett and Josh Dobbs are your two QBs for the foreseeable future. Now, let me throw this question your way. Do you believe that Jacoby Brissett can beat Carolina week one? After seeing what Baker Mayfield said this morning, I want Jacoby Brissett. I got pretty fired up in our video earlier today. I want to see Brissett. I want to see this Browns defense show no mercy. I don't want to go full medieval times mode here, but I absolutely want the kitchen sink thrown Baker's way. So like the video if you're pumped to see the Browns start off week one with a huge win against Baker and the Panthers. Let's look at the running back room now. The Browns, after a lot of chatter, end up going with five RBs for the time being. You could still see a trade happen that sends Dearness Johnson somewhere. Now, Demetri Felton is on the running back depth chart, but think of him as your flex gadget guy. He could be shifted over to this wide receiver depth chart here which only has five names currently. I think the Browns are probably, watch out for this to happen. Michael Woods, for example, goes to IR tomorrow, which opens up a roster spot, and then Mike Harley Jr. could get re-signed to the Browns if he clears waivers. Or the Browns look to bring on someone like Tyler Johnson or another player. Those are the kinds of moves Andrew Barry might be making. Same for Chase Winovich, for example. So let me ask this question, because this is probably the biggest need right now on this team. Should the Browns add another wide receiver? I'm going to give you guys three options here. There's door number three. Why for yes, no, or door three, it's absolutely yes. So let me know who you want them to add. T.Y. Hilton, Will Fuller, Make a trade for Jalen Rager. Let me know what you're thinking. Let's get into the tight end room here. It's a pretty empty room. It's just Njoku and Bryant. Again, I think the Browns looked at the tight ends they had, didn't feel any of them were worthy of making this roster, as mean as that sounds. So they opted not to pick up another tight end, and they might look to get someone like O.J. Howard, for example, who was released by the Buffalo Bills today. So just keep an eye on that position group. I think the Browns are going to make a move there. Let's go to the Hogs up front, the front five, the offensive line. Andrew Barry initially taking 10 offensive linemen. You've got your usual suspects, Jay Wills, Betonio, Posick, Teller, Conklin. And then you've got your swing tackles in Hudson and Chris Hubbard. And then you have some other guys that maybe were bubble players that snuck on the roster. For example, Drew Forbes. This was a six-round pick by the Browns that a lot of us have kind of forgotten about. Injured his rookie year 2019. Ops out due to COVID 2020. Injured his third year 2021. Happy to see him stick with it and get a spot on this roster for now. If the Browns do look to add someone else, say a wide receiver, there might be a guy from this room that becomes a casualty for a move like that to be made, right? If the Browns go out and get O.J. Howard, maybe Froholt is a guy that ultimately is a chess piece that has to be moved to balance it out. So just keep that in mind as well. 
How about the defensive line? One of the biggest talking points for the last couple of weeks. We knew that Garrett and Elliott and Brian and Clowney were locks to make this roster. But it was Chase Winovich, Alex Wright, Isaiah Rochelle, Isaiah Thomas, four guys battling for what we thought was just going to be three spots. All in all, Andrew Barry takes them all. Now, Winovich has been dealing with a hamstring injury for the last two to three weeks. This is another player like Michael Woods who could be put on short-term IR, opens up a roster spot, and that's how they bring on another player at a bigger position of need. No surprising cuts here, just surprising makes in my opinion. Speaking of week one, by the way, if you are ready for real football, no more preseason, no more waiting to get through sloppy fourth quarters of Josh Rosen overthrowing intended receivers to end the game. If you're ready for real NFL football like I am, hit that sub button. On to the linebacker room here. JOK, Walker, and Taki Taki. All were expected to make it along with Jacoby, uh, Jacob Phillips, Tony Fields, and then a bit of a surprise here, Jordan Kunashik. Guy who they signed in free agency at the start of training camp. He sneaks on over Dakota Allen, who I like during preseason, but happy to see Kunashik get on this roster. He's been jumping from one practice squad to another, so you got to feel good for the guy here. We move on to the secondary here, starting with the corners. Ward, Williams, Newsom, no surprises. MJ Emerson and AJ Green. I was a little surprised that Herb Miller did not make this roster. I'm expecting the Browns to have him a reserve spot on the practice squad for him. They want to keep him in Cleveland, in my opinion. Before we wrap up today's show and round out the entire 53-man roster, if you haven't followed us over on Rumble, make sure you go ahead and do so. Rumble.com slash Browns Report. That link's in the comments and description of today's show. It's another video platform service that is offering you our awesome Browns content here at Chat Sports. The safety room, Delpit, Johnson. I thought we could see a surprise cut with Ronnie Harrison or Richard LeCount in order to make room for DeAnthony Bell. After it's all said and done, at least for now, Andrew Barry just takes all three guys. Shout out to DeAnthony Bell. My only regret this preseason is that I did not hop on the DeAnthony Bell. I mean, not even train. I'm talking locomotive going 100 miles an hour across the country earlier. He has been awesome to watch so far. Shout out to him. Well-deserved UDFA making this roster. And last but not least, the special teams room. Again, we knew this was happening. Katie York, Corey Bajorquez, and Charlie Hewlett all making the roster as your kicker, punter, and long snapper. And we'll pencil in Demetric Felton as the return specialist for now. That could change, though, by the time week one rolls around. So for now, that is the Cleveland Browns' initial 53-man roster. I'm expecting moves to be made. A tight end or a wide receiver added. Maybe another defensive tackle. We might see some players released as waiver wire pickups be made or IR spots open up other roster spots. But for now, grade the Browns 2022 roster. A, B, C, D, or F. Someone was in the comment section on our last video going, why are we praising Andrew Barry? What has he done? Are you blind? This roster, despite not having its quarterback, for the first 11 games of the season is still going to be very competitive in the toughest AFC market we have seen in how long do you think? Probably since Peyton and Brady were at their peak. Would you agree, Jeff? Yeah. So I give him an A. I give this roster an A. Let me know what your grades are down below. and We'll see you guys later as more Browns news and rumors comes across the wire.